Okay, this session will be very quick and very easy. You will just implement this menu that you see here. So let's go. Again, to the components folder, click on add events list.razor. Okay, and to the design, take this card and just paste it here. Add code section. First, this component will receive a parameter and also of type calendar day, selected day, get, and set. Great. Now, what this component is going to do is just to show the date here. So, selected at selected day dot date dot to string and it was uh, d d like that to print the date in the full format and regarding the uh, days ticket they are very simple just this dev we pass from to and the subject but we have something to make them colorful the way you see in the main design we have to pass a class, magenta, yellow, red, orange, yellow, green, and we have another class called pink, uh, red. I will bring those values as random. Bring a random value and put it for every uh, event. So to do so, I will create that function here. I'll create a folder called helper. No, not in the components. Here, helper. Yes. So this one. Called random color helper. Let's yes. Okay, using system namespace laser calendar dot helpers public class random color helper okay I will create a private static random object random random like that and I will create a private static list or array be of type colors color classes like this here we can pass the colors we want so first we have enter we have yellow we have yellow green we have pink red we have red orange okay uh, discard or retry now i will create a function public static it will return a string get random color class so every time we call this function it returns us one of those colors randomly to do this, return, it's a very easy, color classes, random.next, from, generate a value for me between 0 and color classes.length. So in this way, it will generate a random index between 0 and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5, return that value from that array. So go back to the events list. Whenever we set the selected day here, right, for each, for each contact selected day dot events. Yes. 
first we have to make sure that if events is not null so i will type here if selected day dot events not equals to null or equals to null then selected day dot events equals to new list of calendar event we can do this one or we can if selected day dot events equals equals to null we can also print h3 exactly this one paste it here and make the font 14 we can type here no events in this day just like that but this one should be within so we'll type if it's null or if selected day dot events dot count equals equals zero other than that iterate over the items over the events yes and with every iteration come on what's going on with the formatting of this razor bonds okay now this magenta will be replaced with a string class color class equals to helpers dot random color helper dot get random color class Okay, no need for that. Color class. Q color class. And this one should be should I close it? Yes, it looks like that. I should close it. Yeah. Now item dot the item is an event yes dot start date to string i will print it like this h h m m to end date and here we can print the subject item dot subject you can remove this safely now just a very easy and basic component now let's go back to the index where is the index 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 pages index great i will go for the design here and yeah you can don't need anything you can just call that events list and also the selected day is equal to the selected day the same for the add event now let's build the project dot net run hopefully everything will be fine everything will be fine everything will be fine everything will be fine now go here refresh okay yeah it looks good no events in this day 2020 may 2027 okay i should reduce the font size let's try to add an event uh live session from 8 to 10 click on add okay nothing happened here let's click on this one click on this again okay it has been added but later on we have to notify that this component about data change that hey something has been changed and the subject here is looks empty okay let's check what will go on here for the moment we have two main issues the first one that the subject is empty and the second one 
is we have to notify the uh, other component about the change that happened here when we add a new event. Let's go over the first issue and check what's going on. Select the day.events.add model and then we make model.subject equals string that's empty. This is the reason. Model is one object, we initialize it once, then we add the same object every time to this list. And also we make the subject empty. This is the problem. So every time we add a new event, we create initialize a new object. This model dot subject start date equals what happened here. Start date equals model dot start date end date equals model dot end date. Okay. Now the first issue has been solved. We can also initialize a new model every time. Okay, that's great. Regarding the second issue, I will leave it this session and talk about it in the second session because it's a separated topic that's useful not only for this project, for all the projects you are trying to build with Blazor. Now, let's go back to the UI and let's run the project again. Let's load and run. Okay, click refresh. I'll go for 2020 May. So this one, add new event. Click on add. Click here, then click back. As you can see, this is the event. Now a new event is added. Let's make sure that other world is working fine. Another event. Okay, click add. Go, come back. So here we go. Events is working fine, but we have another issue regarding the colors. Every time this component being rendered, it creates a new colors for the events, which is also an, an, it's an issue. So we have to solve it. And also we want to show an event here with an edge uh, day. Let's go back and start with the problem of the calendar event color. If we go to the event list here, Instead of making it generate a color every time, I'll make something else. Let's go to calendar event and create a new property. Color get the private set and within the constructor public calendar event. When we create a new event, we initialize the color with helpers dot random color dot get random color class. So in this way, we generate the color only once for each event. So it will be unified across all the components. Come to event uh, list, remove it, use item dot color. Okay, in this case, it's just perfect and generates only one color. Now let's go to the index and we need to show here like the design, as you can see, we show uh, the first event within the list uh, here. So let's go for this place and look for a day that has event. Okay, this one, copy it. And let's go back to Visual Studio here. Okay, in the template of the day, I'll add an if condition, if day, what happened here? They is there any specific issue? They don't events not equals to null and at the same time they events 
dot count not equals to zero. In this case, we'll print this one. And for the red orange, I will replace it with bar event or first event equals day dot events dot first or default because we are sure here that there is an event because we have checked if the list is not null and has at least one one event here first event dot color okay so the color of the first event is also unified here and then we can print the subject but before print the subject i will create an if to make sure that the subject is not too long first event subject dot length if it's bigger than 25 character and if it's less than 25 character in this case i will print it like this at first event dot subject dot substring got it from 0 to 25 then I will add three points. Uh, okay, sorry, this gets an error because it's C sharp. I have to force it to read it as a text, so I can use the text text element. And in the second case, if it's less than twenty five. Just print it like this, all of it. Okay. Click on that run again. Great, go back, refresh. No event ten forty five finishes at one thirty. PM, click on add, we'll add another event. Oh, it looks amazing. This one, this to PM, click on add, let's click here. As you can see, here we have a new event. Click here as well, we have those two events. But this indicates to us that, hey, there is an event within this day. We can click and see all other events. At the moment, all the functions we want to implement is just working amazing. We still have the state management and we are done. Then we can move to just call the Microsoft Graph and implement the authentication, which is a very easy process. It's not that hard. And we are 100% ready. Now, the next video will implement the state management and learn also how you can implement it across all your projects. And that's it. If you have any questions, directly post it within the comment section. I'll try to respond for it as soon as possible. And for a reminder, you can find uh, the whole project on GitHub. If you are interested in the code, if you are, don't want to uh, practice with me from the beginning. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.